Hi everyone, welcome to another topic. In this session, we are going to understand how to work with .NET Core application by using the CLI commands. Okay, so I'm going to create a new project and uh, that project we will create by using the CLI commands. So what are all commands we need to consider uh, in order to work with the .NET? So let me just open it. Okay, I hope uh, my notepad is visible to you. So now, in order to create a new project, you will have to use this command dot net space new and your new project type. So there are uh, several types of project we can create in dot net. Like you can create console application, you can create web application, then you can create class library application okay so this type of projects we can create in the dotnet so you can just write the command like dotnet new console if you write console it will just create console application for you okay so this is your first command second command uh, like see uh, in your dotnet core project you you may have to add some nuget packages third party nuget packages right so if you want to restore those packages, you can use .NET restore. Okay. It will just download all the dependencies for your project. Okay. Once you're done with restore, you can create .NET build. So .NET build will just compile your project. Will compile all the uh, classes which you have created and eventually we'll create the DLL file or the AXC file. So this is what build. And there is one more .NET run. So .NET run command will actually run your project. Okay. Now, whatever source code you have created or written, if you want to publish that somewhere, okay, if you want to publish your code on the applic IIS, my IIS server or any other server, Docker or something, so you will have to create the artifacts. Okay, publishable files build. So that artifacts you can create by using the .NET publish. .NET publish. Okay, while publishing your sources, you can mention the type, release type, whether it is release or debug. So that we can just mention like this. Okay, this is the command. Then uh, if you want to add any NuGet package to your project, you can use this command .NET add package and then your package name okay so this is the command to add a new nuget package what is nuget package nuget package are third party packages which are developed to reuse the same logic which is developed by someone else in your project like i wanted to serialize and deserialize javascript sorry json object Okay, I wanted to convert C sharp object to the JSON, JSON string to the C sharp object. So for this, you don't have to write your own logic. Okay, it is already written in some packages like Newton soft JSON. If you install that package in your project, you don't have to rewrite this functionality again and again. Okay, so how to install that package? You can just use this command. Okay, here if you go npm install Newton soft. JSON. Okay, so this is the command install and use packages in .NET. Okay, this one .NET add package Newton soft JSON and this is the version. Okay, same command I just provided here .NET add package and your package name. So this is how you can just add the packages in your project. It is supported in the .NET 6. Okay, .NET CLI. 
so too many commands are there if you just want to work with dotnet core uh, cli you can just use these commands okay so let's get started uh, let's create the new app new project here so if i go here on this folder right click and then you can open your cmd command prompt right okay let me share command prompt window as well okay i hope the command prompt window is visible to you we are in this path and here if you create dot net new project type is console okay enter so once you enter it will just create the console application for you okay you can see the template console application was created successfully okay where it is created it is created into the same project see object dot net core uh, cs proj program dot cs file is there okay it automatically got created so this class is also got created automatically okay now you can just open this project in visual studio code like this so code space dot enter so Visual Studio Code is an open source ID which will help you to work with the .NET projects if you are going to use command line arguments, sorry, CLI, okay? So this will be your editor. If I click on the program.cs file, you can see uh, hello world file is there, okay? Program.cs, this is console.writeline hello world uh, text uh, program code already created by .NET application. Now let's change this code something. Like I just wanted to change hello. Welcome dot CLI. Okay. So this way I just wanted to run this project. How I can run this project? What are all things I'll need to do? Which command I'll need to run? Okay, it is just asking you to install the C uh, C language extension you can just install it because it will help you to identify the syntax or identify the compile time errors and all so just install this extension it is open source okay it is installing so meanwhile just go back here now i wanted to build this project okay so how to build this project open this terminal and here just write this command i already here some commands here. So second command is dot net build, right? So you can just do dot net build. This one word. So it will just build the project and create the DLL file. You can see it started the building, determining the project to restore all projects up to date or restore. And now it is compiling the sources. Okay. So why we require to build the project? Because whatever code you have written in human readable language, that will convert it into the machine readable language. Okay. And it will eventually create the exe file as well as DLL file. So exe file is nothing but your executable file, which will execute or run or your on your Windows machine. DLL file can be your companion file, means you can use the DLL file into another project. See project build successfully. Now, if I go to the folder, you can see bin folder also. Inside the bin, you will find debug. Inside the debug, you will find DLL file as well as exe file. These are <laughs> executable files or we can call them as a uh, give me a minute. We can call them as a output files. Are you guys not seeing my Visual Studio code? No, sir. No. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, let me share it again. Yeah. Is it visible? Okay, great. So you can see what I was saying. In the Visual Studio code, I just open the project which we have created, right? 
So here, once you open your project, you will see program.cs file is automatically got created. If I open this file, here you can actually write the C code. Okay. It will ask you to install the extension for C -sharp. So just make sure to install it because it will help you to identify syntax error or it will help you to uh, provide the compile time errors uh, during the program only. Warnings and errors, everything. So just install it. Next thing is, uh, once you're done with your project, you can just run some commands. Like, I wanted to build this project. So how I can build this project? So go here, open your terminal like this. Terminal. And here you can just enter the command .NET build. Okay. Let me do again like this. So if you enter .NET build, it will come try start building your project. You can see uh, it is restoring the packages first. It, it confirms all the packages are now restored successfully. And then after the build, it has created one DLL file. This is your output file. Where it is created, it has created that file inside the bin folder. This is your DLL file. Okay, so DLL file can be a companion project or it can be a self self executable project on different operating system like Mac, Ubuntu, or Linux. On Windows, it will use this exe file. So this is another executable file or opt output file for your project. Okay, and build has been succeeded. Now I wanted to run this project. How to run that project? You can use another CLI command that is .NET run. Okay, if you run this command, then it will show you the output here only in the output window. Okay, you can see, hello, welcome to .NET Core CLI. Got it? So this is your output. So this is how we can just run the project. We can build the project and we can work with .NET Core application by using the CLI commands. Okay, we can do anything. All the CLI commands, if you know, you don't have to use dot Visual Studio 2022. Okay, you can just work with the Visual Studio code only. Okay, so this is how we can just create the .NET application by using the CLI. You can create a new class like right click here. Okay, plus, not here, plus. Let's say I have created one more class that Math dot C. Okay, whatever class you will write here, you know uh, we should have public class math name should be same. In this class, you can write the constructor, you can write para, uh, properties, you can write functions. So let's say I have created one function integer add integer a comma integer p. Okay. This is your function and your output will be a plus b. Now I wanted to call this add function from the program.cs. So what I will do, I will first of all create one output variable equal to new. We'll need to create an instance of that class first, right? So new math. And then we can call that uh, function that is add function. First parameter is let's say 10, second is 20, so output should be 30, right? So whatever output we can just print here. Addition is is equal to output. Okay. So this is how we can just uh, create a classes. We can same uh, like a C sharp or Visual Studio. ID, we can create a function here and we can call that function in the program.cs and we can, whatever output we got, we can just print that output on the console. Now let's build and run this project. How to build? Again, go to the terminal. Here you can do one thing. First of all, build your project, .NET build. And then you can run your project like this. So you will see the output here. 
can see addition is 30. Okay, so there is no change at all. You can work same like you are working with the Visual Studio. Okay, only by using the Visual Studio code is, it is open source, you don't have to pay uh, anything, any uh, amount to the Microsoft. Okay, if you know the CLI commands, in Visual Studio there are uh, some buttons or visual uh, wizards are available like there is a build button then there is a run button all these things are available in the visual studio so you don't have to use this command but if you know the command then that is more than uh, enough like you don't have to work with visual studio okay so this is how we can just use cli commands so in the next session we'll start working on the creating new projects for web api by using the visual studio id okay so let me start the recording